you can get some fantastic footage with a drone of any size or shape. This happens to be the Mavic 3 and it's quite a large drone with quite powerful motors. You can get great footage with it particularly because of the, the Hasselblad camera here. But you can get equally, not equally good, but you can get quite good footage from any of the mini drones too and any other drones. If you want to get more than just the standard footage that we've seen a gazillion times, which there's nothing wrong with the footage of some beautiful passes over lochs, castles, some nice scenery, nothing wrong with that at all. Everyone's doing it though, so sometimes you might have to get a little bit creative and think, right, what else could I do just to get something that might be a little bit different? And I like to think that I can think out of the box quite often. <laughs> and what I've done here is I've created a couple of mounts on my Mavic 3 so that if you have a few extra cameras, you can mount them on to these mounts on a Mavic 3, for example. Like so. So I have a DJI Pocket 2 mounted onto the top of the drone and I have it not facing the front but I have it facing the side. So I've now got a camera that faces the front, that's on the drone itself. I've got a camera that faces to the side. And I've got a camera here, this is the Insta360 X3, that's facing to the back. So I've got three of the angles covered. You probably could mount more, but two extra cameras will do for this little demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the Wallace my DJI Mavic 3 up and I'm going to fly him up around that little kind of hill thing up there and then round just about here over some of the trees and some of the, the landscape here keeping him within full view at all times of course <laughs> and then what I'll do is in post when I come to edit the video I'll do a mixture of the three different angles of the video and then at the end I'll put up the three side-by-side -side different cameras so that you can see for yourself what they all look like. Now this isn't a review of either the Insta360 X3 or the Pocket 2 and it's not a comparison of any of the cameras. It's just to show you how using a little bit of thinking outside the box and a little bit of creativity might produce videos that are a wee bit different from what everyone else is doing and hopefully this will inspire you to come up with ideas of your own for your own drone. So as I say, let's get the Wallace up in the air. Approach to edge of altitude zone. And this is where it might get a bit tricky. Your takeoff procedure. <laughs> you have to be careful here that you don't break anything, including yourself. So there he is, seems to be stable, is he? I don't know, it looks stable enough to me. So let's send him off. And hopefully he'll come back safe and sound with all of the cameras still attached. Now this is actually going a bit to extremes. I've done quite a few videos now where I've had the 360 attached to the Mavic 3 and I've had no problems whatsoever. But I think attaching more than one camera is, is kind of pushing it a little bit. And I know he's a strong big fella and he's got good, good motors there. But I could be pushing it just a little bit with both of those particular cameras. But if you have a couple of lighter cameras, such as, I don't know, the, some of the action cameras, maybe the DJI action camera, three or four, I don't have any of those, so I don't really know for sure. Or if you have possibly, maybe the GoPros, they might be a bit lighter. I don't know what weights those are. that might work a bit better, but, but to be honest with you, this is working quite, quite well. 
And although I'm not getting a lot of speed from the Wallace, carrying the extra weight of those two cameras, that's actually okay. I'm not looking for any particular speed. I'm just looking here to see if I can get a mixture of views by having different cameras mounted onto the drone. And it seems like I can. And of course, I do know that I am in a very lucky position here in Scotland, particularly in this part of Scotland, where it's almost as scenic and beautiful as the Highlands, but without the restrictions of RAF tornadoes flying <laughs> within your drone airspace. And of course, if you just add a little bit of music and maybe some wind effects and different things like that, you can come up with quite a, quite a nice creative little video. So this was just a short flight to let you see how capable the Mavic 3 is of carrying some extra weight and what you can do if you just think a little bit differently. So if you have any ideas other than, than this kind of semi-crazy idea <laughs> that you think might be, oh, that might be quite a good thing. I wonder if it, it would work or not, but you're a wee bit too worried, a wee bit too apprehensive, a wee bit too cautious of trying it out for yourself. Let me know what it is. And if I have the equipment or I can get a hold of the equipment to test out any possible theories or ideas that you have, I'll do that. So till the next one, thanks very much. Don't forget, we thumbs up always helps me out with the channel. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one.